Hey Garage Squad, my name is Ray Fellows, this is my video submission. Uh, we're here in my shop in Midlothian, Texas. I've got a, I've got a, I've got myself in a hole, is the best way to put it. Uh, and I'll just, I'll talk at the same time. So we'll start here. This is my friend Ron's 1955 uh, Oldsmobile Super 88. It's, uh, his aunt bought this car new and he gave it to me. The whole front end on it was wrecked, smashed. So I've done all this sheet metal work, and uh, I just need to, to to get this thing finished. I've just got a couple of more pieces on the front end, line up the hood and so forth. Uh, and this car is is almost ready. And and this car has a really unique story that I'll get to here in just a moment. Uh, next to the Oldsmobile. Is, this was actually my project, the 1952 uh, Chevy pickup that I had running. And I'm currently in the middle of LS swapping because it uh, had a 350 in it. And it was really just starting to get unreliable. So I'm, I'm in work on this, this truck right now also. Uh, this was my, my first paint job. So this truck is in work and it's and it's and it's on its way. Uh, we'll get back to the Lincoln here. This is my uncle's '65 Plymouth Fury. Um, he gave me this car quite a few years back, and uh, I've gotten a lot of it done. Uh, but it still needs it needs some attention. It's been sitting for a while. This was my great grandfather's 1957 uh, Bel Air. He gave it to my grandmother. She gave it to me, uh, and you can see it's it's come a long way, but still has a good way to go. Uh, and then finally is the '62 Lincoln Continental, which is completely bone stock original. Uh, my buddy Ron, that gave me the Oldsmobile, gave me this car, uh, but and that's kind of where I'm at. The top doesn't work. Uh, it uh, it he was. He had it on jack stands doing, about to pull the fuel tank. So I'm not really sure on this car. I just really got it maybe two weeks ago. So my buddy Ron is 82 years old. I've known him for 20 years. And uh, he gave me this, this, this Oldsmobile here and told me that I owed him a ride in it when I got it finished. Uh, real quick, there's the hood up there. You can see where it was hit. In 1986 in a super 8 motel parking lot and uh, it's been sitting ever since so Ron gave me the car and he told me that uh, I owed him a ride in it well about three weeks ago he he died from cancer uh, he was and I said he was 82 and, and I haven't finished the car yet and uh, his daughter gave me his Lincoln Continental also so he is going to, they're going to do services. He's been cremated and they're going to do services for him in November when it cools down. He's in New Orleans, Louisiana. I'm in Midlothian, Texas. And I talked with his daughter and said, you know, I want to get, I'm going to bring the Oldsmobile down there and we'll take his ashes to the graveside uh, in the Oldsmobile. It's my last chance to get him uh, a ride. So <laughs> that's kind of where I'm at. I, I, I would absolutely love some help. I keep, you know, this, the 52 was my project. Everything else has been people who have given me cars who have passed away. And man, I mean, <laughs> I've got two little ones and I am just trying to get all of this stuff done. And it consumes so much of my time. This is my workshop here in Midlothian. Uh, you know, I'm, <laughs> I have a whole season of cars here for you. I don't know how much you want to get involved. There's a 1949 John Deere tractor back there that, uh, I had bought. I never, I've never even got to touch it because I just got inundated with all of these, uh, other projects. So again, this is my shop. Uh, I'm here in Midlothian, Texas. I know I said that already. I have 12 and a half acres. Got a big old field out here. You guys could park production vehicles. And uh, we could have a blast just getting all this stuff done. And, man, I would appreciate the help tremendously because I feel like 
I'm never going to make it. <laughs> I'm never going to be able to do all of this in any reasonable amount of time. Uh, I'm, I'm trying. I spend as much time out here as I can. Um, but, I, you know, I've got a whole car now that I, I haven't even touched. And, and uh, I really do need you guys' help. If, if there was any way you could figure it out, <laughs> man, I would appreciate your help. Uh, so there's my video submission. Again, my shop. It's a, uh, it's kind of a mess because I don't get to clean up. I just come in here, I work, and then uh, I leave, right? And I guess that's the nice thing about the shop is you could just close the door and forget all about it, and then come back and start again, and you know. But anyway, uh, I would appreciate if you guys could help me. Thanks a lot. Bye.